Hello, I'm Yashis, reporter for First Updates Now, and with me today on Behind the Bot is Team 24789, split second from North Carolina, the current winning alliance captains for the Chicago Robotics Invitational. They have a very unique robot with a box tube double claw intake, as well as a, a unique drone launcher and a unique hang that's on the box tube. Learn more about their robot with me on Behind the Bot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So to start, can you tell us a little bit more about your drive chain, what odometry pods you used, if you use any, and how it's really coded for teleop and, uh, and autonomous? Yeah, so for our drivetrain, um, big thing is our superstructure. Um, we have all of our motors down right at the bottom of the robot, laid right in there. We have uh, four 435 RPM motors on our drivetrain, but then they're geared up, I believe, 23 to 15 to about 600 RPM, just so we can go as fast as possible on the CRI field. Then after that, we have our two motors for our telescope, which are two 1150, or 1150 RPM motors geared together. And then finally, our elbow motor, which is comes out to around 60 RPM. Um, and then additionally, odometry, we have two optiodometry pods in the side of our drivetrain, as well as, I forget the brand, but the optical odometry sensor as well. That's really great. Uh, why don't you tell me more about your, your double claw intake, as well as the box tube design and why you decided to go with it this season, and if you had any inspiration for it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we have our double claw intake. It's pretty standard that you've seen on most teams this year. We have two micro servos on each side of the robot that connect the pincers in the middle. It's all printed out of Mark Forged uh, Onyx filament with carbon fiber set inside it, so it can be light and very durable. Um, and yeah, and generally, uh, why we decided to go with the box tube, originally we were gonna do a double extendo bot with angled slides, very similar to RKA, but, and with a bunch more degrees of freedom. However, CookieBots posted their teaser video and in the Discord, someone put Jack in the Bots and we didn't know if it was CookieBots at the time, but we decided that looks kind of similar and Jack in the Bots had um, really good autos in terms of their time in FRC the previous year. So we went ahead and started working towards the box tube design uh, and ended up CookieBots doing the same thing and we were able to use some of the stuff they had released to help improve it. Um, and with the box tubes, um, we manufactured it on a Fablight laser cutter um, and that allowed us to do the pocketing um, all along the inside, which makes it really easy to access um, all of our strings for our cascade rigging. Uh, moving on from the outtake, uh, let's move on to your uh, hang and drone. Are there any iterations that you had to make them really unique and efficient for your robot? Yeah, so for our hang and drone, originally our first version of the robot only used a 435 or a singular motor for our um, extension and we tried climbing on just that singular motor and it worked. However, we wanted to improve our extension speed and our climb speed. So we switched using two 1150 motors and that had a higher torque, which allowed us to hang. Um, and we had earlier experiments earlier in the season where we ran stuff like tape measure hangs and pulley hangs. However, we realized if we put it all into one mechanism, we're able to cut off on a lot of weight um, and just overall make our robot more compact and simple. In terms of our drone, our drone um, is just powered by rubber bands with a, there's a lever down in the bottom here that releases and the rubber bands will fire it. And then it's also on a pivot servo right here. Um, that stemmed from our original um, drone launcher was at a fixed position, but we wanted to increase the angle we launched it at. So we went from having that fixed angle to this because it allowed us to still get under the stage door, um, but we were able to increase our angle. And then with CRI, the game change where they removed the launch height limit, we were able to move that angle up even higher and increase the power on our drone to help get more consistent uh, drone launches. 
That's really awesome and really cool. Um, do you want to talk? Does anyone want to talk about sort of the software behind your robot? How you manage to make sure that the the box cube is extended at the right place, and your claw lets go at the same time, and any driver enhancements that you may have, as well as any strategy calls that you do during the match to make it more efficient. Yeah. So software side of the robot, uh, we code our entire robot in Kotlin, and we use Nautilus, the command-based library by the team 16461 Infinite Turtles. Um, and in terms of driver enhancement, uh, through that we have macros to basically extend out, macro to close and go back into travel and all of that. Um, and in terms of driver enhancement, one kind of unique thing we do uh, is we, when we're in our pickup mode, we rotate around our claw instead of around the center of our robot. So if we are extended all the way out like that, uh, we basically change our mechanism kinematics to where instead of rotating around the middle, we're gonna rotate around our claw and that just allows us to kind of more accurately intake pixels when extended. All right, well, thank you for joining us on Behind the Bot. I hope the viewers really understand and uh, like, to, uh, like to learn more about your robot and I hope it helped them. So thank you again for having us on Behind the Bot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.